Yeah, good morning everyone. Let's use the new tractor with the pallet forks on it and take a round bale out to the horses. Hello and welcome to our channel. We're, We're glad, glad you're, you're here. here. Okay, first step in this process is to give the horses their breakfast. That gets them over there out of our way and keeps them away from the gate and right away from the tractor. So that occupies their time a little bit. Second step, bring the tractor over, curl the bucket forward, hook underneath this rod, curl the bucket back, it picks the forks up, keep them centered as possible on the loader to distribute the load evenly. Now we'll fire the tractor up and hopefully pick this bale up. I'm not sure if I can fit the bucket past this one or not, but that's our, that's our target bale there in the corner. And Kendallin's going to get the gate for us. Move it, Sakima. Of course, this isn't what pallet forks are made for, but this is what we're using them for. I might have to push that bale over a little yeah, bit. Push it on my hand. Or just straighten it up. I'll get behind it while you're pushing it. Okay. Get on that corner. That's our problem for it. I think we're in good enough. Are you? Well, it didn't look like we had moved that much. It's still that corner. I don't know if you can pick it up and get it to drop a little bit or not? It's on there. See, once again, this isn't what pallet forks are made for, but this is what we're using them for. It appears to be working well enough. Okay, get the gate for us, Kendallin. Okay, open it. Yeah, open it. Kendallin says she's going to be her own YouTuber. She wants to have her own YouTube channel. Okay, bring it closed. We'll just wrap the chain around it. Okay, yeah. let's go. I can't wait to McFly on YouTube channel. <laughs> you're what? No, no, no. <laughs> hey, don't. I already told them you're going to make your own YouTube channel. Oh, God. I'll never be able to keep any of this. This is super. Well, at least I'm already on YouTube, you know. I love to watch YouTube. Where can I get home? weeks ago. Well, they ate that one down to nothing. Yep. Our round bale feeder appears to be working better. 
I've never used one before. What? But hey, they make the we got this heavy, it's like a PVC one because Sam in the round pen there, he's like almost completely blind now. And I didn't want a metal one because he does run into stuff. It's bad enough he runs into the round pen. And then we can just lift this up over here. In the round mail. No. Like, <laughs> what is that? And we'll just dump it in there. <laughs> this round bale feeder is actually light enough that we could, if we had to, pick it up and, and toss it over top of a round bale, but. <clears throat> <laughs> and it flipped clear over on us this time. It's not a big deal. No. We can stand it up. There we go. But yeah, this plastic one. It's supposed to be unbreakable. So that's how we now handle round bales. Obviously a bale spike purchases in our future. <laughs> uh, I'd like to convert this over to the quick connect bucket at some point. But cost wise, I think a clamp on a uh, bale spike for the buckets, $100, $300. So we'll probably go with a clamp on spike for now. Would that be easier than trying to get in there with these forks to stab the bale rather than trying to weasel underneath it. So I hope you enjoyed our video of how we move our hay bales and our, our new round feeder, which obviously works well. Uh, please subscribe. Thumbs up would be appreciated. Have a good day and thanks for watching.